All right, here we are. Glamour Magazine held its 2016 Women of the Year Award Ceremony last night with us. Cindy, Cindy Levy, Levy, the magazine's editor-in-chief, back again. And one of last night's honoree, Ashley Graham. Uh, here, uh, Ashley, here you are, sitting here, <laughs> but here you are last night on stage. This isn't just for me. This is for the girl who got into a bikini for the first time this year, who the mother who just had a child and she's embracing her stretch marks on her stomach for that girl who said no i'm actually not going to lose weight for you boyfriend and for the woman who actually can look in the mirror and say i love you and mean it wow i yeah. like that and you know what that's for a lot of people yeah yes it's for a lot of people yes and for that you get a barbie we'll doll present, i don't want to break you i Careful. want to present you you with, won't with she's your, flexible with your own <laughs> I want to present it. Oh, okay. Well, I want to present you with your own doll. Yes, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you so much. Isn't she Ashley Barbie? Isn't she, isn't she caught? She's very, <laughs> she's very pretty. She's you. Uh, isn't it amazing? It is remarkably like you. The butt. So my prerequisite when yeah. Mattel called and said, hey, we want to make a Barbie, um, was that her thighs have to touch. I asked for cellulite, but they said it would look like a little bit of a mistake. So I said, okay, fine. Okay. At least ah. she has to have around hips and arms and, and tummy like and me. And she has to have a big personality and be yes. funny. <laughs> she's definitely she's definitely got the hair yes and the lashes and the details of the face it's it's a, it's remarkable even my like birthmarks and everything so right. yeah. yes is yes. this a true story going back some years you're going to be a model yes you're working with another model who looks at you and says you're getting paid for this yes they're, they're letting you do this yes that was a motivator it was, it was definitely a motivator, and I've had many motivators in my whole career. Um, that's just one of the many stories that I, that I loved sharing because what happens is you look at a girl my size and you think, oh, as a model, oh, how could you be making as much money as me is what has happened in the past. And now what's happening is you're seeing girls my size all over buses and billboards and the covers of magazines, and now people are realizing that beauty is beyond size and mm -hmm. that there's no one standard of beauty anymore. You know what I love about you is how, how people found out about you prior to being on the cover of Sports Illustrated or whatnot. It was through social media because you used that platform yes. to connect to the everyday woman. Yes. And that's how you gained a following. I think social media has been such a huge moment for models again. We have a voice now because, you know, for so long we were just the girl that shut up, be pretty, that's all you can do. And now we actually, we're pretty, but we're doing something with our pretty. And showcasing your personality. Well, yes, you know, along the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, but you're, you're really a personality first person. And I heard you before you came in the studio. <laughs> That's my mom's fault. <laughs> okay. I was like, do we need a microphone here or not? I'm not sure. All right, Cindy, who looks like size minus six at this moment. Um, this. I don't, know I don't even know how to respond right. to that. Like, yeah. Compliment, insult, Thank I'm you. Right. I don't know. It, 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 it was just an observation. Yeah. Okay. I realized we deal with all kinds of controversial issues on the show all the time. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about women and how they look, I step in it every moment. Mm. Everything I say is usually wrong. Right? <laughs> you know? I'm sorry that you find that to be yeah. true. I mean, I, you know, I think the most important thing is to just understand the intent behind someone's words. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we all say the wrong thing sometimes. I think if you feel like you've done that, you could say, yeah. oh my gosh, did I say the wrong thing? You know, basically women, as Ashley has discovered, just want to be valued for who they are. Yeah. I also think that we all know that in real life. It's the fashion industry that's taken a little while to catch up. I mean, in real life, we know that explain, women all... Explain that to me, because I never... Look, I've been doing this a long time, interviewing people a long time, and the fashion industry has always had this real sick take on what women should look like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> always! And every 10 years, there's something about, well, it's going to stop now, but and it then it comes back again. Yeah. Right, right. I mean, I, I, do, I do think that because of social media and because women of all sizes are able to say, we want great clothes, yeah. it's not just the size 6 women who want fantastic looking stuff, size 16 and size 26 women want the same things. Mm. I think because of all that, we're going to see and end to this. There are a million reasons that people in fashion will give you, you know, as to why this persists, but I think the bottom line is that when the audience hunger is there, when they know that clothes will sell, they will make them and the stores 100%. will carry them. It's not a trend anymore. We're here to stay. I like well, that. You're here to stay, it sounds so yes. threatening. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, it's not threatening because at the end of the day, like Cindy was saying, like you are actually hearing the voice of these yeah, women no and doubt. what they want to see, mm -hmm. and we have to give it to them. Mm -hmm. uh, Cindy, this year, uh, first time you featured a man, is that right? Yes, and we it was had, Bono. We had a list of of ten winners and nine female winners, as we always do. And then this year, we decided also to launch a Man of the Year award, uh, basically dedicated to a guy who had done great things on behalf of women. This wasn't just an award that we wanted to give to somebody because you know they're a great actor, they have fantastic style, all of those things are nice, but the point was to say that if women are to get anywhere in this world, we need men working alongside us on the issues that matter. So we named mm -hmm. Bono, who has started a campaign called Poverty is Sexist that takes aim at the global poverty of women and girls. And, and you've been doing this for many, many years, but how has this all evolved as you pick the women of the year? Well, it's, I mean, I find it to be so interesting that it used to be, you know, if you go back 10 years ago or 20 years ago, it was sort of the women who were making great strides in the public world, which we still do. You know, we honored Hillary Clinton the first year that yeah. she ran for president, Michelle Obama her first year in the White House. But I think women like Ashley, who have a very personal message that just speaks to not just what we do in the workplace, but how we feel about ourselves at our core, I've seen a lot more of those kinds of uh -huh. women, our audience really saying, you know, those are our role models in addition to the women we see. Mm -hmm. Listen, Thank you. Three years from now. What? <laughs> no what way. All right, are you nominating? Is it an official nomination? I, I, I think I'm going to step in it again. I'm not <laughs> no, sure. No, no, no. <laughs> That's a compliment. Thank you. you no, know, that is. I've been yeah. going to Woman of the Year for the last eight years, and every time I would see a woman up there accepting an award, I you would got say, inspired. Yes, and you leave with a little piece of yeah. information that you take with you for the rest of your life. And I never thought that I would be a woman up there accepting an award, having to think about what I'm wearing, what I'm going to say. And that all happened this, last night. This uh, yeah. tremendous confidence that you I, I was just about to ask that, too. Are you going to ask the second part of that question? Probably. What is it? You go with the first. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> is it there all the time, or sometimes you have to put on the front? Mm -hmm. I don't think I have a front anymore, but I did have a front. And there was a, a time where I had moved to New York at 17. I had put on some weight. I was... I was considered a plus size model, but I was getting to a point where I was too big for uh. plus size. And I was making wrong decisions in my life and I didn't love who I was and I was, your words have power, right? Yeah. And if you're constantly telling yourself that you're fat, if you're saying that you're ugly and it's a constant, that's exactly what it's going to become. And I had to change my words and my outlook on life. And thank God my mother is so confident and she's always instilled such drive and inspiration in me. So that's exactly what happened. And I started talking to myself. It's a little weird. Yeah. But I did it. And I started, I, one day I just ripped my clothes off and I was like, cellulite, I love you. Thick thighs, you are <laughs> just so sexy you can't stop rubbing each other. It is so weird. <laughs> but it works. <laughs> and the thing is, you know, we still look in the mirror and we think, oh my God, I'm so fat or oh, I'm so yeah. bloated. And I still do that from time to time because I'm a woman and I'm in the media and it's, you're constantly being judged. But if I take myself back to that moment, I realize like, hey, I'm just a girl mm. who wants to look good just like everybody else. You just go with the flow. And every time that you say, I love my cellulite, or every time that you say, <laughs> I wanted my Barbie to have cellulite, there are girls at home listening who are right. going to feel that much better yeah. about the bodies they have. That's right. an amazing thing. Right. And Thank I, I've you seen so many te you. teenage girls who are tyrannized by phony pictures of women yeah. who don't really look like that. Well, especially and when they're, they're photoshopped, photoshopped of yeah. Yeah. Yes, I, yes, I show it all. I show the cellulite and all. Well, not yes. all right now. Just hold back a little bit, okay? Yeah. <laughs> they keep right. cropping me out. <laughs> All right. Our director's really This fast. is live. What do you want from us? All right, coming up. Uh, nice to meet you.